Good morning. Happy Saturday. I went to a poker game last night and uh, had a lot of fun. I had more than my fair share of rye whiskey, so if this isn't quite coherent, it is 3.30 in the morning, and well, I had a bit of whiskey last night. Uh, I've been walking around listening to a lot of sirens. You, the uh, phone may or may not pick them up over the sound of my flip-flops. But it's got me thinking. There's a, there is a portion of the uh, First Amendment auditing community, a tangential portion, yet a significant in numerical size portion that seems to be of the belief that you'd be better off calling a crackhead than a cop if things go sideways. And I think these, uh, these riots have really set off the distinction that they're trying to draw and how much bullshit it is. Not a single crackhead is lined up to stop rioters, to protect people's lives, to protect people's property, to stop people from brutalizing each other, to separate fights, to put their lives on the line for the peace and order of society. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, the biggest fan of police. I'm not the, I'm not unreasonable about it either, I don't think. Um, you know, police normally do good. Normally they do good. Normally they have good intentions. Sometimes they do bad. And we need to call them out when they do bad. And I'm all in favor of calling them out when they do bad. I never, I have never got on anybody for justifiably calling out the police. I haven't said one positive word about that Derek Chauvin guy, whatever the hell his name was. There's nothing positive to be said about him. Other than he probably didn't intend to kill Floyd, but I mean, he, he most likely at least assisted in the death. So, I mean, he did a bad job. But anyway, my point is, my point is that it's really, it has really shown, this whole crisis has really shown the value of police. It is the police that are the, the final line defending us from anarchy. And watching people like James Freeman egg on the anarchy is a real slap in the face. They, they think somehow that the police are so bad that they're willing to, they're willing to cheer on violent protesters. They're willing to cheer on people who are, who are depriving others, who are depriving other law-abiding citizens of jobs, of property, of their health and well-being, bodily integrity. I mean, what is, what is with your agenda? What is with your personal agenda if to get back at police somehow you are willing to throw all of society under the bus? Show me on the doll where the police hurt you. And if you have an extensive criminal record, then, well, my sympathies don't extend towards you. You have probably earned it. In our society, we seem to have a, a real difficulty with personal responsibility. We like, to, we like to try to find things to blame it on. The systemic systems of systemic, systemary. Oh, that's, that's why this is going on. Institutionalized racism. That's why this is going on. A culture of police brutality. That's why this is going on. Yeah, just justify my acts by the acts of others. And then, and then when those other people justify their acts, well, you know what? The reason why I was brutal to him was because he was a criminal. Justifying. Justifying goes in eternal, vicious cycles. People need to take responsibility for their own actions. People need to take responsibility for what they are doing right now. Not for what was done yesterday. Not for what was done 100 years ago or 200 years ago. But for what they themselves are doing right now. Everybody needs to take responsibility for their own actions right now. If you can't justify your actions right now with what is happening right now, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. If you have to point to something yesterday or last week or last month or last year or last century, 
then you're probably a piece of shit. And I have no sympathy for you. So at this time, right now, I want to thank the police who are actually standing up between complete anarchy and us, people who are protecting our neighborhoods and our homes and our businesses and our lives and our loved ones. I want to thank the National Guards for coming out. And I want to say a pox on all of you who are glorifying and supporting this violence. A pox on all of you who are giving it cover and who are making excuses for it. And I hope that you suffer the damages of it instead of innocent people who aren't supporting this crap. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.